Uh, Mark Thiessen joins us now. And Mark, the obvious conclusion, absent better answers, that, that this is a policy that has been done with intent for almost two years. Yeah, and let me start by saying that Bill Malugin, if he doesn't get an Emmy for his reporting on this, there's no justice in the world. That 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 ambush at the at Mayorkas' house is something out of 60 Minutes in the 1980s that a young Chris, uh, Bill, uh, Mike Wallace, would have done. Uh, so he's just an incredible reporter and in bringing us facts that nobody else is bringing us. I mean, one so we got one million gotaways plus four million people who uh, a record number who have been uh, encountered at the border. That's five million people. Crossing our border illegally in just two years since Biden took office, it's insane. And to, for the if, if that's if that's a secure border the way the Biden administration says, I, I'd hate to see what an open border looks like because that is really just just out of control. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you know, let's talk about the Democrats' response because in most cases, sweeping amnesties is essentially what they're going to grant yeah. these immigrants that illegal immigrants that are already over the border, right, in our country. But here's the problem. So if we've got one million gotaways, how many of those are actually going to be granted amnesty down the road? And that is more of an incentive for more to continue to illegally cross our borders into this country. You're 100 percent correct. Look, here's the problem. Nancy Pelosi is, uh, I hate to say this, Nancy Pelosi is right in the sense that we do need comprehensive, that we need some kind of immigration reform. Donald Trump wanted to have immigration reform, too, though he had different visions of it. Um, but you can't have any kind of immigration reform to expand the number of legal immigrants when, the, when we have the worst border crisis in American history going on. The prerequisite for any kind of immigration reform is a secure border. I mean, we, right now we have, uh, one of the reasons why we have inflation is because we have the worst labor shortage in American history. We have 11 million unfilled jobs. You've got half of American small businesses who say they can't find workers. And so that's what's driving inflation, because supply can't keep up with demand, because if you don't have workers to fulfill supply, then prices go up. But the irony is that Biden is actually fueling the inflation by with his open borders, by, by, by making it impossible to have any kind of immigration reform that brings in workers in an orderly fashion uh, that we need for our economy. So he's actually actually fueling the inflation with his open borders that are undermining his presidency. Mm -hmm. Let's talk politics now. How does play uh, politically with midterms 40 days away? Uh, less than that. Mark, NBC did a poll on Latinos and who they prefer. Uh, now, they, they prefer Democrats. But if you look at the trend, the trend is in favor of Republicans. Yeah. And I, I, I think to sum up what one person said as they looked at it, they say, being down by 20 points is a lot better than being down by 40 points. So if you look at these close elections and all these House races across the country and Senate races as well, if you get a slight swing from Latinos, that can make a significant difference in control of Congress. A huge difference. And the Democrats make, make the fatal mistake of assuming that all Hispanic Americans look at politics through the same racial lens that they do. Uh, they, they, uh, if these are Hispanic voters, then by definition, they're U.S. citizens, which means by definition, they follow the law. Yeah. And they don't necessarily like people cutting the law. Many of them, especially coming those who came from Central America and Mexico, Came here specifically to get rid of the, uh, get away from the cartels and the transnational criminal networks uh, that are that are that they don't like seeing them in you know having free reign over our southern border. And then Hispanic Americans, like every other American, are experiencing the worst inflation in 40 years, the highest uh, grocery prices since 1979, the worst gas prices on record, the highest right. prices for housing uh, since uh, since 1984. They don't like these policies either. They're not just voting on race and immigration. They're voting on their own pocketbooks and what's going on. With their own families. So Absolutely. They're, they're going to be un as unhappy with the Biden administration as anybody else is. Yeah, I mean, and they join the rest of America, but specifically Latinos are very passionate, like you said, about immigration. They are passionate about the economic disaster that we're currently in, and of course, crime. Uh, that's another thing that's affecting their communities greatly and hurting Democrats. Anyway, Mark Thank you, Mark. Nice to see you.